In today's video, we're going to be taking over Wrexham for 10 seasons as we try and establish them as a Premier League club and hopefully win the Champions League with them. I'm sure you guys already know this, but Wrexham are actually in the fifth division of English football. But since that's not in the game, we're putting them in EFL League 2. A takeover video starting from League 2 with a team like this. My God, is this going to be a challenge? Yes, you're right. And just 1 million to work with. Oh boy, we're in for the ride. Don't worry, we're going to be keeping track of all trophies we win up until we get to the Premier League and once we get there we're going to track the big boy trophies as well. We'll also be keeping track of the stats of our top scorers and top assisters too so that should be fun. We're keeping the rules fairly simple for this one because the challenge in itself to take Wrexham to the top is going to be difficult. 10 seasons to glory. I want to see what we can achieve in 10 seasons with Wrexham. 3 transfers per season. We got a sim every game. And the main objective is to create a dynasty. Let's see how long is this going to take to just get to the Prem. You guys have been asking for a Wrexham video for a long time. And I thought, you know what? Let's do a 10 seasons Wrexham takeover. And here we go. This is going to be fun. And if you guys are excited for takeover videos with lower division clubs and want to see more, you know what to do. Smash that like button. 8,000 likes. And we'll probably jump on something like this next week too. Guys, it's, it's in your hands. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. And let's begin. Here we go with season one and the team we've got. Oh boy, there really aren't many players I think that are going to be big for us. Maybe Hayden because he's 24. Probably Mullen because he's 26. He can give us a fair few seasons. Those are like the highest rated players in the team. We've got the likes of Jones, but he's like 36. This initial first team isn't all that great. And I don't know if it's good enough to get promotion in the first season. We'll have to wait and watch. We'll need player growth to work in our favor heavily. But this is what we're working with for the first season season and I think I'm going to stick with the 5-3-2 formation because I just feel like it, it, it might work well in this league. I definitely want to reduce the depth because that apparently help, her, helps with of course simulations. We'll put down the width as well just adjusting the tactics and let's just see how things go in season one. Money wise we aren't working with all that much just the 1 million maybe a few player sales maybe a few other things here and there could help us out but I'm not sure what we can do in terms of signings in this first season we'll have to wait and watch but youth academy could play a big part now I feel like youth academy is super OP in this game and for the first time of me doing a challenge like this I kind of want to refrain from using it so we're just going to use these five academy players that we've just got directly defaulted from the game William Bond I think is the homegrown talent so he's going to be big for us we're going to convert him to a striker the rest of them aren't all that great but again with player potential you know dynamic potential they might be insane so these are the only five academy players you will probably see throughout the video so that's going to make things even more challenging let's see what we can do in the first season I think I'm pretty clear improving from the defense is the way and getting a keeper that's going to be in goal for a long long time is to play Carl Rushworth from Walsall is just 20 and I think he can be our keeper for the rest of the save if player potential works in our favor the question is if we can get him for a good prize or not so yeah definitely want to start by improving our goalkeeper so let's see how this works we're going to start with a 1 million offer we have that much they're willing to work with 1.2 you know what that works for me Ryan Reynolds is our manager we're using Ryan Reynolds in this one but yeah um Let's see, 1.2 million for him. Uh, hopefully it works and hopefully we can get him to accept a contract for us. We'll delegate everything. Let's go. There you go, guys. Our first ever signing in this Wrexham challenge. It's a goalkeeper. He is A64 rated. I like that. I absolutely like that. And time to see what else we can do in this window. Probably not because we're really struggling for funds. This honestly could be game changing for us, guys. Because if William Bond could be a high rated striker, that's guaranteed goals for the first few seasons. And he is. He is going to be our highest rated player to kick things off. Trust me, he's going to make this challenge challenge a lot easier William Bond he's 16 as well we're gonna straight up promote him to the senior team and put him in our starting 11 that's one hell of a player to have we just signed a player from Chelsea in Josh Brooking I got him for like four to 
We just signed a player from Chelsea, Josh Brooking, 59 rated, 18 years old. We managed to sign him for 430,000. It was an absolute bargain, so had to go for that. So basically improving the back line a fair bit in the first season. I don't think we've got money for more signings, guys. So that's going to be it in terms of transfers for the first season, at least. We're already done with two out of the three. Maybe one more will be possible. We'll have to just wait and watch. So I guess after all the transfers and all, this is how the team looks like. One academy player in there in Bond up top in that striker role. I think he's going to be just huge for us. We'll switch them around and let's just see what we can achieve in the first season. Direct promotion? That would be the dream, but let's see. Let's see. Now that's a surprise. I think having that academy player in the team has clutched up for us huge because halfway through the season, we're top of the league. I reckon we could be getting our first trophy in the first season itself, straight up promotion to EFL League One. That'd be the dream. That would be the dream, of course, in this window. I don't think we can work really on any signings because we don't really have the money. But look at the player growth. Bond up to a 71. A lot of players growing really well. Look at Rushwood up to a 67. That's what we need, guys. That kind of player growth is what's going to take us far. So let's keep this up. We're going to sim until the end and wrap up Season 1, hopefully by being in EFL League 1. A quick Youth Academy update, boys. Um, In the Academy, I have got rid of a couple of players who I think didn't have the potential to be good. But these three kind of want to keep kind of want to keep growing them because they seem to have like okayish potential and probably will be a part of the squad. A couple of strikers and a goalkeeper. So maybe like Season 4, five, you guys will probably see a few of them have some sort of an involvement in the team and that's the first season done we've won efl league 2 we've won a trophy in our first season itself that is honestly incredible we're going straight up to league one i reckon we'll soon be in the premier league at this rate because look at the player growth on our first 11 rushworth up to a 70 maybe a bit better growth on brooking would be nice but bond up to a 74 we're gonna have an 80 rated player probably by the time we get to the championship so player growth has just been absolutely mental and that's something i absolutely love to see and let's hope we can keep this up in further seasons for now let's take a look at the stats it was actually mullen who stepped up big time those stats are a bit mental paul mullen 33 goals this season that's that's honestly a bit mental assist wise it was james jones not too bad the scottish Men with you know tennises we actually add a trophy in our first season itself i know it's only the efl league 2 but promotion in the first season in that manner is amazing can't wait to be in league one and stats wise mullen our top scorer with 33 and we've got jones our top assister with 10 all right, guys, season two begins and the team is looking very nice indeed. We've got a couple of 70 plus rated players, players edging close to that 70 overall mark. The squad is coming together. Is it good enough to get direct promotion again? Not so sure. We might loiter around this division for another season. We don't know. We'll have to wait and watch. We can make three signings and I think I've got a good idea what I need to do. Yup, free agents. We got to try and get maybe a couple of free agents in. That could be very smart to improve the overall squad and a Apart from that, we've got about 3.5 million to spend. I think we can do bits this season. Guys, I'm using the free agents thing for that CDM position to just reinforce that position. And I reckon Miguel Araujo looks kind of decent and would be an upgrade over what we have. So I'm just testing the waters here and seeing what kind of an overall he could be like. Free agents, I think, is going to be really something we need to get used to and use of because that could be big for us. So let's see how this works. He has accepted our contract, so that's brilliant. I want to see his overall that's a top class signing he's 19 and 73 rated that's huge he's one of our highest rated players already that's one signing down another free agent that looks really good is evan lamb again seems like an academy regen or something i think he looks top class okay he's maybe not as insane as we expected but still 68 rated at the age of 18 i'll take that and we've just made one of our most expensive signings yet to complete our third signing of the season taylor harwood bellis is what we've done 70 rated 2.8 million uh we had to pay about 3 million for him but i think it's a top class signing once again continuously improving the back line all right guys so with the signings this is how the team looks right now we've got a fair few high rated players in there guys now one two three four five seventy plus rated players a lot of youngsters in there as well 
Squad depths looking okay. EFL League One. Can we win back-to-back -back titles? That's the real goal. We've completed our signings for the season. I'm simming on till the end and I'll see you there. Unfortunately, guys, Bristol City got the better of us this season. So no back-to-back -back trophies. That's fine, I guess, because ultimately we still get automatic promotion. And in two seasons, we've made our way to the championship. And it's all down to the insane player growth we've had. Like, look at that guy we just signed in that centre-back position. Howard Bellis, 75 rated. Like, mad. Did I mention about his transfer, guys? I think I did. I, I think I mentioned that we signed him for like 3 million. Top class centre-back, good option. Rushworth up to a 75. Araujo up to a 76. Evan Lamb doing well. And we've got our first 80 rated player. And we're just getting into the championship. That is that is certainly an amazing feat, guys. Absolutely. So, yeah, love it. Just got to keep this up now. Maybe next season we'll improve the fullbacks. We'll talk about that later for now. Let's see the stats. Who've been the top performers for season two? Mullen again. 25 goals. Good lord. Bond is catching up a bit, but he got 10 assists this season. Evan Lamb with 7 assists. Araujo with 7. That's great to see. But, oh, James Jones coming up with 22 goals from midfield. Fair play. No changes really to our trophy count. We've just won the EFL League 2 as we finished second in League 1. We couldn't get that trophy. Maybe we'll hit the championship at some point. But yeah, one trophy so far. Stats wise, Mullen keeps hold of the top scorer chance and by a fair margin. Also, Jones top assister right now, but William Bond is coming close. Season 3 begins and we're in the championship with a genuine chance of maybe getting direct promotion. If Bond can carry us, it's possible. We've got a fairly high rated keeper too. Good defense, but we got to improve it. I'm thinking this season, improving the back line a bit more. Probably another striker to add some depth. That's what I'm thinking, guys. But overall, the core squad looks amazing. About 3, 4 million. That's all we've got to spend. Huh, I had to spend a fair bit on contracts and also, I guess, huh, that's going to make things pretty difficult. I'm trying to sign Danny Da Costa, 29-year-old right wing back, for free. For free. A one-year deal. I probably will renew his deal at some point. But seems like a good pickup. I don't think we can go wrong with this, guys. We just can't. Danny Da Costa, what's his overall going to be like? He's 74 rated, guys, at the age of 29. I'll take that. I'll take that. Another defender has been signed, Jaron Brantway. I think we needed a 70 plus rated defender. He looks amazing. 21. Top class stats all run. And with the five at the back we're playing, I think the fact that he's good on the ball works. So, top class signing. Oh, this might be a game changer. Danny Ceballos is available on a free. Do we have enough money to sign him? His career kind of has just gone off the rails, I feel, recently. Recently, but I think he can offer us a fair bit if we can get him on a maybe like a three-year deal. I wanted a fire deal, but that's fine. Danny Ceballos in that midfield. We can afford this. Let's try and reduce how much we're paying for him. There you go, Danny Ceballos. That's a fun signing. He can probably slot right into our midfield. That's all our signings done. He's 79 rated. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Free agents is the way. And would you look at that? The team with Danny Ceballos is now pretty insane. Only Cameron Green is the player who isn't above 70 overall. Like, I think our team is ready to even get through the championship easily and maybe even win it. We don't really have that much squad depth. That's, that's something that could hurt us, but... I'm ready for this season. That's going to be the team. We've completed our three signings. Let's sim until the end and see what we can achieve in season three. This is actually mental. End of season three. We've just won the EFL championship. We've literally gone back to back to back promotions. We've done an RB Leipzig, you could say. From the fourth division of English football in three seasons, we've made it right up to the Premier League. That's mental. Win the league by a big margin. 105 points over the likes of Newcastle and all. And it's all down to player growth just working so well in our favor we make those crucial signings and kabayos and all keepers looking great it's absolutely brilliant that we're in this situation if you look at the stats mullen he is insane 29 goals again what a season bond again with a steady season he's up to an 83 overall assist wise evan lamb doing bits but yeah let's see how these guys all perform now in the premier league and how much budget we're gonna get that's gonna be a lot of fun to see the championship has been added onto the list guys and there you go so our journey in the lower divisions of english football end with this 
one championship, one EFL League 2. We're going up to the Premier League. I don't know, maybe we don't survive the Prem. We come back down, we could maybe add to more championships. But the goal is now to focus on the Prem. And stats-wise, Mullen, top scorer with 87. Evan Lamb, who we signed in a free in a couple of seasons, has become top assister. So that's cool. Doesn't this look brilliant? Season 4 and we're in the Premier League. We're probably not going to be winning trophies for a while, but it's going to be a grind surviving the Premier League in the first season and just slowly growing. We've got six seasons left to win the Premier League. That's probably my ultimate goal in this challenge. Let's see how things go, but I'm ready. We've got a very, very capable squad, man. Look at this. We certainly need to make a few improvements, probably in the defense, attack maybe, and that's what we're going to be working at. We also need to improve the overall squad depth because that's somewhere i think we're lacking a fair bit by the way you guys can see few academy players involved jessin and prajaska who's from czech republic he is now part of the team as well i think i've got ideas what needs to be done let's put them to good use our first signing has been made and it's a midfielder for squad their purposes ramon enriquez 23 years old I think he's going to add a fair bit to our team. Free agent as well. Free agents is the way in a challenge like this. And by the way, for being in the Premier League, we've got a budget of about 36 to 40 million. That's great. And I've got ideas for big signings I want to make. But before we can do the big signings, need to secure the squad depth signings. Amar Dedic from Bosnia is just that. 73 to 80. He's going to grow fairly quick. I think he'll be a great right back. Actually, he'll only be useful, guys, if we can convert him to like a right wing back. Let's see if that's going to be possible. We're running a very different formation in this save. I think we can convert him. So Amar Dedic will go right in the starting 11. There you go. We then put Hosanna in here. Enriquez on the bench. Love it. Love it. Love it. We're really improving squad depth now too. There you go. We can now convert Dedic to a right wing back. He gets a boost on his overall. I like that. We'll maybe work on his defensive stats. Also, if you're wondering, where's Danny Da Costa? We gave him only a one-year contract and he decided to leave. So, yep, he's gone. One signing I'm making that I'm super excited about is Yusufa Mukoko. Mukoku? I don't know how you say his name, but 75 rated at the age of 19. This is the ripe moment to pick him up and could be the success for Successor for Mullen up top. Has to be this, guys. Has to be this. We'll start off with 14 million. We've got the money. And there you go. That's enough to sign him. Absolutely brilliant. We'll get the contract negotiations done as well. That's the kind of signing that's going to see us through in this challenge. We'll give him important squad role. He'll accept that too. This is just perfect. Five-year deal. He should see us through in this save. That's brilliant. His wage demands aren't all that much too as well. There you go. Done. One of the hottest prospects in world football has just signed for Wrexham in the Premier League. Season 4 is going on real. With that, guys, we've actually completed our three signings of the window. Smart transfers. Let's go. I'm actually very happy with the business we've done. Next season, we'll improve again, maybe the back line, but no more signings can be made for now. we got to keep the cash we have and just run with it. Maybe I'll use that to improve contract and everything but this is the squad we've got for season four how do we fare in the premier league let's see for our first season in the premier league this is incredible 11th with 53 points that's amazing i'll take that guys first season back in the prem i think we've put in a solid season 73 points was the Premier League title win, so we were 20 points off, but not bad for the first season. We're only going to keep getting better. Cup competitions, what happened? Well, Carabao Cup goes to Manchester United, I guess, fair enough. What about the FA Cup? We reached the finals, but lost. Oh, it was a successful season, then I'd say. On penalties as well, that was a rough one. Decent season. I don't think we're going to be in any European competition for season five, but we retain our spot in the Prem. We grow the squad in next season. I think it's time we start making some bigger signings. Mullen, again top scorer. This is getting out of hand. What a player. How? Even after signing the likes of Mukoko, Mullen is the man who just keeps scoring. Bond with just four goals in the Premier League quality. Mullen might end up being our top scorer. That's incredible. Anyways, Evan Lamb with a solid season as well. Next season, I think we need to make some big money signings. We've not added any major trophy this season. So the championship and the League 2 trophy is all what we've won so far. Could have been an FA Cup as well, but oh well. Stats-wise, Mullen is flying high. Top scorer with 106 goals. There's a good chance he might end up having that record mental. Evan Lamb with a decent season. He's up to 30 assists. Season 5 begins now, and I think it's quite clear the couple of positions we need to improve upon. 
definitely left back. Probably Hayden needs to get replaced. That's what I'm thinking for this season. It's time to maybe move up the Premier League table, start looking for a top half finish. That's probably the goal. Our budget is a bit lower than last season, but if we adjust it, should be about 40 million to spend again. A mixture of free agents and a transfer, I think is the play. Let's see what we can do in season five. Managed to sign Oscar Hoy. I think that's how you say his name. A left back that's 74 rated for free. That's a bargain. And now I can use the rest of the money on a top class center back. That's my thinking. Got to convert him though to a left wing back because that's how this side plays. So let's quickly make him a left wing back. It'll only take a couple of weeks. As I said, guys, it's time to make the big name signing. Jean-Claire Todibo, 81 rated, only 25. Now that's a signing. He's going to improve the defense massively and fill in a hole I think we've been needing to fill for a while. Development plans on him and I think he's going to skyrocket in his overall. Now that's that's a quality signing guys. Absolutely love it. I don't think we've got money for anything more so we're going to keep the squad as is but by adding Todibo into the team we put Hayden over here, Brooking over here, Ho over here and Green here. That's brilliant. This is a squad now. This is a very very capable squad and let's see how we do this season. I'm excited. Slow and steady, but improvements are there, but we need to up the pace. We've just got five seasons left after this. So being eighth in the Premier League, ah, with the team we've got, we could have pushed a further, you know, a little bit further up. But yeah, eighth in the Premier League is what we get. And cup competitions, Carabao Cup, Chelsea, FA Cup goes to Wolves. So nothing in that sense. At least our squad should have grown a fair bit. Yeah, Mukoko is now 80. Emin Lamb is doing well, the midfield's doing great. Look at Dedic and look at Rushworth being 87, that's mental. Not too bad, but we gotta start pushing for Champions League spots and Europa League spots, I guess. Stats-wise, finally Mullen is... No, he's not! I didn't even notice, he's still our top scorer, are you kidding me? How is he this good? Mullen is a cult hero. 76 rated, 31, but he keeps firing goals. Unbelievable, man. William Bond, I thought, will be our top scorer at some point, but nope, it's Mullen. Crazy. Still, the trophy counts looking the same. Just the championship and the league two in five seasons. We gotta start picking up the pace in the Prem. I guess next season we'll do that. So far, there's been steady progression. Just gotta keep that up. And stats-wise, I can't believe Mullen is still our top scorer. Like, how insane is that? Bond is now our top assister, though. Season six now, and it's about time we start pushing for a lot more. We need to finish top six in the Premier League, I feel. We've got the players to do that. I don't think we need to make much improvements apart from maybe like a central midfielder for more depth. Probably a striker for more depth again. Maybe we don't even need that, guys. But yeah, let, let's just figure out what needs to be done. Probably just a midfielder. Unless our budget goes above 100 million, we can't make superstar signings, which is, I think, the next step we need to do to win trophies. But until then, we just got to be smart. We're trying to sign Barcelona's crown jewel and Pablo Gavi. This would be a very good transfer, guys. And for 30 million with this contract expiring, I think we're going to secure the signing. Very, very good indeed. Let's hope it goes through. And there you go. We've just signed Pablo Gavi. That is unreal for versatility and squad depth and everything. Top class signing. The fact that we're now luring in players from Barcelona, I think, is absolutely class. We've got a good Spanish contingent in our team as well. What plan can be put on Pablo Gavi? Let's see which is the best one. Box to box. Yeah, seems like that's it. I love the look of this team, guys. I think it's class. We've got good players, decent players in every position. We're going to keep it as is. And let's just get through this season. I reckon with the players we've got, we've got to start making a push for top four. Let's see what happens in season six. Let's go, boys. Champions League position secured for next season. That's going to mean a big budget. A lot more we can do next season. I am certainly excited for that. 69 points. Eh? Yeah, that's what we finish on. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. That's perfect. Do we win any cup competitions? Carabao Cup? Nope. FA Cup? Nope. But it was all about the Premier League. That's that's brilliant, guys. Next season, season seven is going to be our first run at the Champions League. Can't wait to see how we fare in that competition. What are the overalls looking like for us? Ooh, spicy. Players have grown a fair bit, the likes of Gavi and all. That's nice to see. 
I'm keen to see who's been out. Oh, look at that. Bond up to a 90. That's brilliant. Player growth's been stunning this season. Let's look at the stats then. Moko Mokuku. Mokoko. That he's the top scorer. Finally, Mullen is slowing down. Still banked seven goals. I think I'm going to keep him to the end on until he retires. Bond with 13. But Evan Lamb with a solid season. I think he could be top assister soon. There you go. Brilliant season. Can't wait to be in the Champions League. Still, our trophy count stays the same after six seasons. But we're getting there. We're making progress. And stats-wise, Mullen is still top scorer. That's, that's honestly a bit mad. Top assister though now is Evan Lamb. So that's a fight between him and Bond. But Mullen is so far cleared of anyone else. It's mad. Season 7 and it's time to start making a push for trophies. I mean, our team is good. We just need to improve the overall quality of the squad again. First team's looking amazing, but I'm thinking... By the way, yeah, Mullen is retiring this season, so he's gone. We need to bring in a striker. We need to bring in a centre-back, probably. There's a lot of work, but since we are in the Champions League, at least we're getting the budget to work with about 112 million. So that's great. First signing I want to make is what I think to be Karim Benzema's re Gen. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he is. The stats-wise, I think he definitely looks like. He's agreed for a sporadic squad role. That doesn't make me think he's Kareem Benzema's regen. Maybe that release clause does. But let's see. If we can get him for a good price and have a solid backup option, that would be nice. And we're paying him a fair bit in terms of wages. There you go. Getting him for free. We've got that backup striker sorted now. And he is looking like Benzema's regen because he's already 81 rated. Guys, we're about to make one of the biggest signings I think we've ever made in this fix save bastoni for about 110 million an 88 rated center back i feel is what we need to take this team to the next level oh my god the depth he's gonna add to this team will just be unreal harvard bellis goes onto the bench we put bastoni in the lineup now that is a back line absolutely unreal Superb to see. Come on. We don't have no money for more signings, guys. We're just going to have to keep the squad as is, which I'm not complaining. It's brilliant. Can we win our first major trophy this season? Let's hope so. The squad is looking fantastic. I'm ready to see what we can achieve. Another acceptable season. Six points off Leicester City. Oh, this was a season we could have won the Premier League, man, in season seven. Oh, well. Still, we secure Champions League for next season. We've become a mainstay in the top four to five teams in the Prem, which I think is a, still a big achievement, you know, so we'll take that. Any cup competition wins? Nope, no FA Cup. But let's go. We won the Carabao Cup. That seems nice. We beat City to it as well. That is certainly satisfying. But what happened in the big one? The Champions League. Let's see. We topped our group. Perfect. Round of 16. Ah, oh, we drew Atletico. That is such a bummer. Oh, well, at least we're experiencing Champions League football. Let's see what we can do next season in this competition. But stats-wise, that's how the team looks like. Look at Bond up to a 95. Look at our back line. Look at our keeper. Our squad's insane right now. No Mullen for the first time. And it's Ewan Lamb who takes home the top score the charts. Bond is up there too. Mukoko as well. Is any of them going to be able to catch Mullen? We'll find out. But William Bond, good season. Assist wise, Araujo did well. Lamb did okay. Not too bad. Finally, we've added a Carabao Cup. A kind of a major trophy. It's taken us seven seasons, but we've done it. That's there. And of course, let's not forget we also have the Championship and the League 2 trophies. But I'm just waiting to get that Premier League trophy in the bag. Hopefully soon. Stats wise though, Mullen keeps hold of the top scorer charts but he's gonna have to survive there for a while i don't think it's possible we'll see still a cult hero evan lamb still keeps hold of the top assister chart it's time for season eight i think the core team that we've got right now is complete i don't want to make any changes to the core of this team what I want to do is maybe add backup options for the fullbacks, maybe like another center back or a forward or something like that. It's all about improving squad depth now. The core team, I think, is settled. 117 million, let's put it to good use. First signing of the season, as I said, improving depth in the fullback position is key. We've signed Isa Kabore, that's very decent, and we'll just convert him to like a right wing back. That should have us sorted 
in that department. Another position for squad depth completed in Ryan Sissegno. Absolutely brilliant transfer. He might actually be a starter for us, you know. You never know. You just never know. But I think it's a great acquisition. We're going to convert him to a left wing back as well. 83 rated. That's not left us with much cash or has it now. About 22 million. I don't think I'm making more signings this season. I think the squad is ready to win. Like you look at the depth we've got now with these couple of signings. I'm, I, I love it. Absolutely do. I think this team is very capable of winning trophies now. Let's see. Guys, what's just happened? We're in a Champions League final, but we'll get to that. But we've got a 99 rated player. What? I've never seen a 99 rated player in any of my videos. Wow, Bond is 99. My good lord. Is that insane? Wow. 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 That is utterly ridiculous. Anyways, the rest of the team is insane and there's a reason why we're in a Champions League final against AC Milan. Wow. We'll take a look at what happened in the Prem soon, but let's see how we got here. We top. No, we finished second in our group to Milan. Oh, round of 16. We managed to knock out Barcelona. We then knocked out Bilbao. We knocked out Leicester and now we're here against Milan. But what happened in the Prem? What happened in the Prem? We've won our first Prem League title. We've done it. Let's go, boys. We've won the Premier League. That was the major goal, getting Wrexham to the Premier League title. It's taken us eight seasons, but we've got here and we've done it with a big advantage. FA Cup, let's see. Nah, that goes to Norwich. What about the mighty Carabao Cup? Just the Premier League, I guess, for us. But if we can add a Champions League to that, that'll be insane. Let's see if we can get the better of AC Milan in this Champions League final. No! Oh, it was a big attempt, but we can't. Just the Premier League this season, but that's still big. Mokoko top scorer. How is a 99 rated William Bond not, not scoring more than him? Interesting. Lamb again with a solid season. Ceballos as well. But yeah, there you go. Stats wise, Mullen is still top scorer after eight seasons. What a man. Lamb is now the top assist. I think he was previously, but he's still fighting with Bond. Bond can become our top scorer too. Let's see what happens in the last couple of seasons. I don't think we're making too many changes to the team. Trophies wise, now we've added a Premier League to the list. Potentially a Community Shield as well. Let's see. Potentially a Community Shield as well. Let's see. Season 9 begins and honestly, I feel our team is complete. Like, I don't want to make any more changes. I feel like I'm happy with the overalls and everyone. There isn't really much we can do. And I know we've got, let's say, 150 million to spend. But I just want to keep this squad and see what we can achieve. How many more Premier League titles we can win. Maybe a Champions League in our last couple of seasons. So we're just not going to make signings. Just simming through and seeing what we can win. How do we end up winning the Premier League with 69 points? <sighs> yeah, 69, but... Hey, at least that's back-to-back -back Premier League titles. We will take it. We won the Community Shield as well. So that's a couple of trophies. FA Cup. Ah, we lost it to Liverpool. That sucks. Carabao Cup we didn't win. The Champions League is the real question. We topped our group with the perfect record. We got through Nice. We got through Atletico. No, we didn't. They got through against us on pens. They've knocked us out twice. We've just got one season to give it a go. Hey, at least we won the Prem twice now. Stats-wise, what are we looking at? Yeah, William Bond is going to overtake Mullen now. He is. Lamb is probably going to finish his top assist, though. Couple of Premier Leagues and a Community Shield added on here. That is lovely to see. Of course, we've won the Championship and the League too. One more season. I'm hoping we can win the Champions League. That'll be the best way to wrap this up. And the top scorer charts. Bond is now our top scorer with 156. Evan Lamb is probably going to finish top assist to One last season, let's get it. To one last season, let's get it. One last season, guys. Let's do this. we got to try and win the Champions League. I'm happy with the depth we've got. We've lost a few players in the squad, I guess. Where have they gone? You know what? Maybe we'll sign like a midfielder or something. Yeah, we'll do that, I guess. So, one more signing, I guess. We do have 228 million. I'm thinking, why not just go big? Final season, let's just go big with Frankie de Jong. Doesn't get quite bigger than this. He's 33 though, but he's 92 rated. We're going to go with him then. Should be able to sign him. And we've made the signing. Frankie de Jong to Wrexham is done. That's the kind of signing that could fire us to a Champions League. 
Oh boy, I think Ceballos is going to be put on the bench. We'll put Frankie de Jong in here. The team is complete. Our team is complete. Let's get to the end and see where we at. Nah, dude, in our final season, we lose out on the Prem to Liverpool. That's such a bummer. Did we win the Community Shield? Yep, we make that two Community Shields at least. FA Cup? Nah, Everton. Carabao Cup? We lost that too. So basically just the Community Shield so far. Unless we topped our Champions League group. We knocked out Leipzig. We knocked, nah, Atletico Madrid again. You kidding me? Ah, <sighs> that's how it ends. That's how the journey with Wrexham ends. What about the stats of everyone? Look at the team that we built. This was so much fun. One of the most fun takeover videos I've done. It was honestly just so much fun. Look at the ratings in some of the players. Mukoko top scorer. Willem Bond with 28 goals. De Jong with a great season. Lamb did incredible. And yeah, that's one way one hell of a way to end it off final look at the stats willem bond ends up as our top scorer with 184 that's brilliant that is absolutely brilliant but you know what commiserations to mullen because what he did for this club was crazy over these 10 seasons so big respect to him lamb ends up as our top assister with 92 these 10 seasons were incredible this is hands down the best takeover video we've done i enjoyed this took me like seven eight hours to record but i loved it in the championship it was a straightforward way i mean in the efl league system it was straightforward to get to the top division we won the championship in the way we won the league too and in the prem league a couple of prem titles a carabao cup and two community shields over 10 seasons with Rexford, um, Wrexham, I just messed up their name, what am I even doing, but yeah, over 10 seasons, I think that's amazing, so, yeah, brilliant, but I guess, guys, this is where we're gonna be wrapping up today's Wrexham video, and if you've enjoyed it, I need y'all to drop a like, if you guys wanna see bigger takeover videos, drop a like in the video, 8,000 likes, and we'll do one next week, maybe, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you guys for the next one, peace, I'll catch you guys for the next one, peace.